<laughs> Let's see if this thing's working. I don't know. Over there? I think we're live. I, I think we're live. I think we're live. I don't know. There you, I, go. you know, if we're live. Yeah, I'll tell you if we're live. Did, did either of us get a notification that we're live? Oh, it's 20 seconds. Right. <laughs> so here's what I can tell you. Uh, they told us to go uh, do a live show, and I don't know about anybody else, but I wouldn't guess the two of us behind the ball with no scotch. Yeah, that's probably not a good idea. We really need super big. <laughs> uh, I, I was just telling Mark that this was going to be the uh, Sean and Mark killed the bottle of Long Row 18 while Drew's out of town, so he wouldn't type that up for me. So, anyway, we're, uh, we're having a, a bit of scotch that Mark got shipped across the pond for us. Uh, the, uh, the Blair Athol. Quite a nice gram. Got no problems with this one whatsoever, except for the fact that you got to ship it from uh, Scotland to get a bottle. Yeah, see, that part's kind of a bummer. Uh, but we got a lot of stuff going on, so we're here test driving some things. Mark's uh, learning the ways of Drew. Hey, hey, so we do have some folks on. <laughs> Mark's been spending a lot of time over at Drew's house. So I'm just uh, curious what he's learned. So here we are. Yeah, hang on a second. Let me pull up the chat window. So um, obviously I don't see the chat window. It's not right. So I need to fix that. So you keep talking about the Blair Athol, and I will get right. it fixed. So so mostly what we got going on here is <laughs> Mark's got to learn all this stuff before tomorrow night's big show. Uh, but Blair Athol, I, I like this scotch. Uh, I can get this fixed. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm a freaking genius. Uh, he's, he's pretty figuring this all out. I'm pretty impressed, I'm not going to lie. It's a lot of crazy stuff. But I figure uh, three out of four is not a job that I don't need to learn. Okay, let's I'm see I'm saying that, that now it. and I'll probably end up, yeah, you the man? Who's the man? Drew, I figured all this out, so I owe him a healthy, you know, Cheers, Drew, man. I'm glad you know how to do it, but obviously I need to do it. And why do I? Because I'm not gonna learn it. <laughs> Drew's out of town, <laughs> right? Um, Drew's out of town for work this week, and so to keep our live show tomorrow night, um, I have been getting quick study. Um, and we couldn't just do the uh, the basic like we did the last time you and I got stuck in the show by ourselves. So, because we got some stuff going on. It is half of Scotch Fest. Andrew is literally on his way home from San Francisco and yep. work. Be yep. home late tonight, and uh, Drew uh, took off today. So. Um, we wanted to do this show for a few reasons because tomorrow's live show we won't have an opportunity to talk about that. Um, we didn't want to skip that. Um, and also we wanted to use tonight's show to kind of promote tomorrow night's show. So, um, what's going on, right? I know this was uh, un unannounced and it was also a test run so that I could figure out to make sure I can at least get this one. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, we've been working on this for a while. Yeah. Hey, Tom. So, let's go through and, and um, and see who all's on real quick before we dive into this bottle and then tell you guys what's coming up. So, um, Travis, Travis, <laughs> Travis and Travis, Daryl, nice. Daryl. <laughs> um, let's see, Santa Cruzin, Jim, uh, it's not Thursday, you're right, it's not Thursday, Jim. We'll be um, back tomorrow, don't worry. Lots of static. Well, that's not static, that's probably the problem of that laptop. It might be static. I know we were having problems with the internet here. And so, is the, mic, is the mic working? I think the mic is working. It says the mic is working. You guys want to hear this? I don't know. It says we're... You know what? I'll bet you that the mic is set for not using the, the, uh, the Yeti mic. See, and that's why we're doing all this. No, it is, though. It is set, so that's curious. I guess here, here, do me a favor. Um, I mean, we'll all turn up the volume. You guys tell me if I hit the mute and I keep talking. Can you hear me? Or no? Mic isn't working. It's the laptop. Now. Mm, now you guys are killing me. Why? See, this is why we're doing this tonight. Uh, so the Blair Athol, uh, while you're working on that, you got this? Go on, keep going. All right. Uh, what was our total combined score? Do you remember? We were 
but three. Oh wait, I think I know why. Hang on. All right, guys, I got this figured out. I gotta go into Google and change it in there. I might have screwed that up. Okay, bear with me for. I don't know if I can change it now. Doesn't look like it to me. I don't know if I can change it now. Are we on the computer mic? Yeah, we're on the computer mic. So we'll just keep. I don't know if we just went dead either. Maybe. Where's the settings for? Well, we're trying, folks. Anyway, before we um, let me stop. Are we? Well, fuck it. Let's play charades and drink. <laughs> I like that. Um, just hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll get this figured out. I'll get this figured out. It's still, it's still counting. So I don't know how to change from. Like you're gonna have to stop. No. No, I sure can't. I mean, I'm in the control room. Okay, so can you guys hear us at all? I can hear the fan noise. Yes, Drew. Yes. Call me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Help brother out. Yeah. Are you, are you good? I'm looking for your phone to call Drew. Hello, guys from Arizona. Yes, Drew, I know the fan's going because Google Hangouts isn't using the Yeti. I don't know why. Watching your reviews has helped me really get into scotch. That's cool. That's real cool, Jim. Make sure you apply the Yeti Yeah. Ah, so he can't figure out how to get the Yeti mic. Uh, you want to talk to him? Oh. So I've got the Yeti mic on, 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 uh, set up on OBS. But it's not in Google Hangouts. I'm no, not Google. I mean, not Google Hangout. I, I, in your OBS, I double click Yeti mic, and it says Yeti stereo microphone. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeti is not checked up. There's no check. There's no check marks next to the Yeti mic. It, enable push to mute. Enable push to no. So I've got disabled, disabled, dis everything's disabled. Where's that? System preference settings microphone or what? Where the hell's microphone? Sound? Yep, yep. I just did. That's output. Do I want to go input? Yep, there it is. So I don't know if that made any difference. It looks like it did. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> These guys are all putting up with us. I hope you all are having a glass. Is that any better? Unplug and plug it back in. <laughs> Reboot. I can hear you. I, I, I think it's better it. now. I, I can tell the... the uh... I don't, I don't things, know. It's it's better. Oh, that did it. Did that, that do it, Santa Cruzin? I think that was it. I can tell just from the readouts that it's better. 
There we go. Man, you're going to have some hiccups. It's oh all right. Oh, my God. So, anyway, Lord have mercy. Man, I'm sweating like That's a pig. That's a lot of work to get you know? to a drink, man. I know. Um, before it gets too late, and thank you for all you guys that hung with us. Man, you tell, I don't know what. Is that your wife vacuuming? <laughs> that is the fan on the Mac book. Um, the computer to do this has to push pretty hard. I mean, it's cycling at over 50% CPU, so the fan runs pretty heavy. Um, but anyway, now that we are up and running, yes, let's talk about the Blair Athol, you guys. Um, the, uh, the Blair Athol I picked up uh, on a hunch from Roy. Okay, yeah. so uh, Roy Aquavite has really never really steered me wrong when it came, comes to his palate and, and my palate. And so he said this was a 12 that he keeps on his bar all the time. And that was enough Fair for me enough. to say, you know what, I'm going to find it. So I had to order it from uh, an online retailer out of Edinburgh. And I don't remember the total price out of it uh, with shipping and everything. But I was able to get it. So that was kind of cool. And, yeah, I got to agree with him. I like it. I, yeah. think, I think it actually got like a 3.25 or something total for, score. For us. an everyday just drinking scotch, that's pretty good. I, it's hey, disappointing Rob. we can't get it. Right, you know it's disappointing I mean, it's but... not on our bar. So anyway, one thing that I didn't talk about during the review, because um, I didn't know any better, Roy has said a few times this is part of the Flora and Fauna series. Right. And that just kept flying over my head. I'm like, well, what the hell does that mean, right? What I had no idea. So I did a little bit more research on that. And so anyway, there's a whole series of um, lay range scotches from various distilleries that don't really produce ranges they just produce for, for blends like this one and so this series came out this flora and fauna series came out and it's basically some scotch from all of those distilleries under their own label type of thing so this is the only one that you can get of blair athol under the blair athol label everything else you're going to get under an ib which um i do believe there's some out there in ibs i yeah, haven't I'm done sure there i haven't done the research on that but anyway um we need to, Drew's talking about needing to test hangouts. Yeah, we, you know, I tested it earlier with our special guest tomorrow, which is another reason we wanted to have tonight's show, you guys. So tomorrow, um, and I have no idea how, how many people are online right now, uh, the, the YouTube counter's not working, but I guess that's my own fault because I, I need to update that. We got a mic and a video working. Yeah. I'm pretty excited about um, it. But tomorrow night... At, we should do uh, an unboxing. Uh, yeah, let's do an unboxing. So tomorrow night we got a special guest on the show. Um, we've mentioned it a little bit. Um, but tonight we wanted to make sure we promoted it. We've gone out on Facebook and, and out on yeah, Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> yeah, we need, to, we need to say some of this. We've got some other stuff coming. So we'll get Fair this enough. out of the way. Fair get this out of the way. So check out what so came in the mail. I, uh, I was at work yesterday. And... Uh, Got this box in the mail, and I knew that the box was coming. All right, I give you a heads up. The box didn't look big enough for what I thought was inside the box. So let's, uh, it was big enough. Uh, so let's talk about what we got in the box. So we've got this Macallan 12 year double cask. Rob's gonna like this whole unboxing. So we got that one. We got, uh, yeah, this Macallan edition number two. And we got the Macallan edition number three. So we were uh, fortunate enough to we made uh, we made some good networking at the Vine and Table um, event last last fall, and uh, a young lady by the name of Amanda Tucker um, was there representing. Uh, the Edrington Group. She works for Edrington Group, and what they do is they are an importer of. A few different distilleries, McKellen being one of them, uh, into the United States. And she's an area manager for, I want to say, Indiana, Illinois, Wisconsin, Indiana, Illinois, Missouri, something like that, um, in the Midwest here. And so we've reached out to her, and she's going to be a special guest tomorrow. And we are going to start off with this guy. We're going to talk a little bit about this double cask and what it is. Um, and then we're going to do a comparison of these two. And we're going to talk about what comes after these two, right? So this is two and three. Um, one is now, you know, a thing of the past. I guess right. you can find it on the, the secondary market. We'll talk about it tomorrow night. But we're going to compare and contrast these two so to see what the differences are. And let her kind of tell you guys what the additions are about, what the whole series is about, what to look forward to, what's coming. We may even hear a little bit about edition four. I hope we hear a little bit about edition it's possible. four. Um, so... Anyway, she's going to talk a little bit about, 
where she came into the Scotch world and the, the Edrington group and what they do here in the United States now and what, um, what they bring in. And, you know, a little hint, she also represents another uh, major distillery that we'll have her back on, hopefully in the near not too distant future, to talk about that specific distillery, which is exciting as well. We like that one a lot too. So tomorrow night, 10 o'clock, we're going to have Amanda Tucker on. And um, we're going to dive into these. We're probably not going to stick to our regular Thursday night agenda where we, you know, do scotch in the news and stuff. Because we to get through these three um, and the information behind it and to talk about McKellen, we want to give her pretty much the full hour. So uh, We had patrons got to ask some questions yep. of her, so we, we put that out there to them and, and they sent some questions to her. So we've got a pretty full show, actually. Yeah, so some of our patrons already submitted questions via email, and obviously some of you guys are going to have questions tomorrow during the live show, so we'll, we'll try to get to those as much as we can, but super excited about it. She's really excited about it. never been on a, a YouTube channel uh, as a guest, so um, we're excited to have her. She gave us a lot of good information to read about these bottles, so we're going to get into them, but we wanted to talk about it tonight let you guys all know about it, and we wanted to also give you know the due notice to the Blair Athol and... Plus, we wanted to have a glass. Plus, we wanted to have a glass. And I needed to prove that I could figure this out. Yeah, there was a hiccup or two, but come on, don't We might even up. have a cigar. <laughs> we might. <laughs> what else can we get into, you know? So, Sean had we a We get into idea. a lot of trouble. Sean said, <laughs> it's the Sean and Mark review, review of the Long Row 18. Um, <laughs> Drew just... Drew, Drew comment already? Drew just no. dropped his phone. <laughs> No, I mean, it, I wouldn't trust this with In all model. fairness, Drew is, uh, he's out of town and work, and he happened to spend a little time with another one of our subscribers tonight, uh, Tom. So you guys already made your trip to Benny's, and uh, Drew picked up a fine, what was it? Glen Goyne. A Glen Goyne 21. So uh, be real happy to see Drew get home. <laughs> I hope he brings a bottle with him. <laughs> you better bring the bottle with him. Um, oh, traveling's thirsty work, man. If you got to choose between that or uh, Johnny Red, I don't know. Uh, Drew just said, "Screw you guys." <laughs> uh, you got the Glen going twenty one. You'll be fine. You'll comfort yourself with that. It'll be all right. So I'm I'm anxious to to see you know what you guys have to say about these. I, we've not had any of these three. No. Um, I know Rob uh, Whiskey to Six up there in Canada. You you've gone through all three of these, right? And if you haven't, I can't believe that because I know that you you're pretty fond of McKellen, and you've I know I've seen at least one, if not both, of these on on your desk. So I'm, I'm mostly excited about seeing. I, I love going through flights of scotches, right? And seeing the the changes that the wood or or the different agings or the different finishings make on the on the whiskey. Uh, to me, it's just a really cool thing. I mean, that's, that's the, the master distiller at work. Right, and so the difference between these two is, you know, I, it could be vast. It could be huge. Because yeah. there, there were partners that they pulled in. You said yeah. this one they pulled in. It was a uh, perfumer. Two. Yeah, and two they pulled in a restaurant here, right? Yeah. So they could be completely and utterly different ranges. We're far away from each other. I don't know. I know that uh, Amanda had said that tomorrow night she wants to start with the double um, because it's a little bit lighter of an expression and she doesn't want to have it drowned out by either of these two. So we're going to start off and just do a kind of mini review of this. We'll probably start off with the McAllen regular twin. Yeah, well, as a matter of fact, that's a good call. Where is that bottle? Uh, did we kill it? No. Maybe. Oh, no. Are we going to run out and buy another? I don't think we drank it. Man, I tell you what, you guys, scotch around here just disappears. Yeah, I thought we had some of that left. Well, I Maybe thought we, we don't. We may have to go get a bottle. That would have been a great bottle to start with. Maybe we'll have to do it's that. Not too but, late. No, it's not. Um, so we'll get into we'll get into this one first, and then we'll dive into these two, and and we'll see how things are going. I think it'll go pretty well, to be honest with you. I think so. Plus, I, I love having people on that know, uh, know their products and can talk to us about it and, and maybe give us some insights that we didn't already have right. before. So Travis says he prefers the two over the two and three over the double cask. said he had two bottles of the double and probably won't buy another. That's fair. fair. Uh, you know, we haven't touched it, so we have no idea what to expect. Um, but I think for the most part, the additions are pretty well received, right? Yeah. Yeah, in general, I believe so. Yeah, I'm trying to catch up on all these, uh, on all these, these comments. So Tom says I met Drew tonight. Yeah, what did you think about that, Tom? 
<laughs> you can, you be, can honest. be honest. <laughs> we are. <laughs> no, his Facebook message, he was Facebook messaging with Tom earlier, and he's, you know, we were commenting this, bad, and one of his comments said, by the way, Drew's really tall. <laughs> Drew is really tall. Yeah, yeah, he is really tall, especially when you're only five foot nine like me. <laughs> oh, geez. But, um, I think Drew's having a good time. I think he had a good time going into Benny's, and I know that's a great place to always to hit. You know, we don't have stuff at, you know, quite like that. Quite like that. Yeah. So, um, but we're fortunate enough to people that to, to be able to get something like this, and I'm really excited about it. I'm excited yeah. about reading up on all this. You know, Amanda sent us a lot of uh, literature to go along with this to kind of give us some some homework and prep work to be ready. Um, so. It's Which I love that stuff. I do too. You know, I mean, honestly, we could spend a whole hour just talking about that kind of stuff. Well, I went through all of it, and I'm sure right. I'll go through it all again tomorrow just so I can kind of get my head wrapped around what we've got going on. So it, it's going to be fun. I, it, it's Sometimes you think of, uh, you know, the different castings, and they pull in these, these uh, I guess, guest people to help out, and it, it can be kind of gimmicky. But the people that they pulled, uh, it, it's interesting who they pulled. Um, the perfume one really, I, th I think, is interesting. But, but you're talking about somebody who picks aromas for a living, you know? And so okay. if you went into that person and, uh, you know, that job is fairly complex. So right. it, it'll be interesting to see, you know, the, the difference between what they liked and what they didn't like. I have like no reservation. I don't for. know what to expect. So, I'm I'm kind of excited. I'm going in with an open mind, and we'll just give it a shot, and we'll see what right. happens. But uh, it, it's kind of I mean they they picked some interesting people to partner up with. So, well, and interestingly enough, uh, you were reading about this one and talking about. Uh oh, what do you? Hang on a second. Drew's calling me. What did I do now? <laughs> yes, Drew. Hi, Drew. What do you want? <laughs> Say hi to everyone, Drew. What, 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 what? You want to be on the stream, man? We can do that. Nice jacket. What did I you was going to say that, too. I think, I think Drew... He's dressed he, up and stuff. He hang time uh, hangouts us so he can... I'm in the car. Let's watch you guys. Thinking you want to test this stuff out. We got guys waiting in the bar for me. I thought, you know what? I'm going to test this guy. Make sure look, I'm in the car waiting for you guys. What kind of dedication I have for an ice cream sport? Well, you know what? <laughs> Buy yourself a good scotch in that bar. <laughs> I will. I bet you will. I would already busted open that Glen Goyne if I were you. Shut up. Watch your mouth. It's right down here in my backpack. Oh, jeez. Well, I hope you had a good time with Tom. He, uh, I think he had a good time. You already have other people that are wanting to hang out. Travis uh, Sauter said that he, he would have liked to have been hanging out with you guys. So. Well... Yeah, I think we're good to go, and, and I, you know, I did a, a hangout earlier with uh, Amanda. I think we're good. It, you know, I still had, can't figure out the Ethernet thing. I think we need to cycle um, Sean's router, but whatever, and, and reboot the computer. We'll get it out, figure it out. By I'll start early tomorrow. I'm gonna yell at everything. <laughs> hey, say bye to everybody, Drew. Do not touch my long bro, goddammit. You're breaking up. Hey, you're, you're breaking up. Bad connection. Internet is bad. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Prank call. <laughs> Just for that, I'm going to have a glass. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, you know, what, this, this thing really has got caramel in it that I wasn't getting the last time. I so, pick something we have you know, to, to give a couple shout-outs, um, and I don't even see him tonight, but oh. last night, about, I don't know, maybe it was 9 o'clock or so, uh, my phone buzzes, and, and Telex was doing an impromptu live show, so I logged on and watched him talk about uh, Clenleash and... I can't remember what else he was drinking, but uh, he cracks me up because he, he's not afraid to just kick him back. You know what I mean? He's, he's slamming back Scott. That's what I like about him. <laughs> I know. He can oh, hang with me. Man. What do you got going on there? No. Oh, that's our friendly bottle that we bought yeah. for ourselves. Right. So, Should have bought too. I'm anxious to see if, uh, if Drew picks anything else up at Benny's. He's up there for a few days, and who knows what he'll come back with. But um, More's Sean, better. You know, Travis, Sean and Mark left unintended is dangerous. <laughs> um, as a matter of fact, you have no idea. the last time that Sean and Mark were unattended, we actually had the bank card and we were in Vine and Table. And that was a horrible idea. It was awesome. Um, for, it was actually really good, but um, we can get into some trouble. We can definitely do, we can do some damage. I, I wouldn't leave the two of us unattended at any of your bars. 
No. <laughs> nope. That's the truth. I, I'm just going to throw that out there. Do the long row, Sean. <laughs> wow, people are super chatting for you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, gosh. Drew is a uh, boss. See, I'm, I may have to have just a little sip of long row. Just because he it's... says, look at Rob says he's addicted to the chase. All right, first women. You better slow down, Rob. <laughs> a million things in between, and now whiskey. That's the truth. I think we're all in love with that chase. Um, Nothing wrong with it, that. It never ends. Oh man, that's so good. You should have a glass of that. I will have a glass of that. But anyway, I think we covered the topics that we wanted to talk about. So I mean, I wanted to just make sure that this thing was running. Tomorrow night, I'm sure I'll be down here really early, like eight o'clock, making sure this crap works. Um, but we'll have it figured out, and it'll be a good show. I'm really excited about it. Amanda's really excited about it. Andrew will be home before then. Um, and we just had a last minute. I had a suggestion for a, a fourth revelation for a fourth sit-in. Um, it's probably too too late for a last minute ask, but I will. But make you the never call. know. I'll make the call tomorrow, and um, we might have a surprise fourth. Who knows? Uh, I don't want to say it because there's probably a slim slim to none chance. It won't be Mike. He's out of town too. Yeah, Mike's uh, Bourbon Mike or Bourbon Shenanigans is out of town, so it may just be a, a three man show with uh, Amanda as a special guest. So if that's the case, we'll make the best of it. We're gonna have a great time. All right. We'll drink Drew's share. We'll drink Drew's share always. I never leave that hanging. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to pour it down the bar and light it. <laughs> no. no. You're killing my bar. <laughs> oh, jeez. So what's going on with the, with the, the ch chats here? It's uh, I didn't want this to go much more than 30 minutes. I know we kind of jerked off with the mic for a few minutes, but um, this was just a quick quick impromptu, and it uh, seems like everybody's having fun, though. I, I love the fact that there's so many side conversations going on during the show because, I mean... There always you, is. Yeah, it's you guys show up every time, and, and on everyone else's show, whether it's Whiskey and Six or, or the Test Dummies or Aquavita, and it's that, you know... You just pick right back up where you left off, and the conversation continues. And there's a lot of people who want me to drink the long row. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not getting in I'm, on that. I'm, I'm staying out. I, hey, here's another thing. Did you show off the glasses? I did not. I was kind of waiting for Drew to get back, because he was kind of the architect of that. But we got uh, some new glassware that uh, has our logo on it, which yeah. is awesome. The larger Glen Karen. So Drew hooked that up. He might be able to talk about it in the chat if he's watching. I doubt it. He'll get around to talking about it and let you guys know what, what those are about. But Which was good because Drew broke one yeah, <laughs> well, last when, week, two weeks ago. When, oh, <laughs> Rob, drop everything you're doing tomorrow night and tune in. <laughs> tell oh, your friends. Tell your friend. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> That's that Canadian money, Rob. It's cool. We, we take that, too. <laughs> no, thank you, Rob. We really appreciate so, it. So I... It seems like the super chat would let you know, like, hey, uh, we're gonna have to convert this, so this is what you're gonna be donating in the denomination that you're going to. You and, know what I mean? You know, I'm not. Uh, if you guys saw how much uh, YouTube takes from a super chat, that's oh yeah, huge. we just made thirty-seven cents. Man, <laughs> it is what it is. But I mean, you know, it, there's a lot that goes on in the background to make the show happen. And Drew really has put a lot of time and effort into making the, the channel look the way it does. And thank God he's we here. We couldn't have done it. Right. I mean, it would have taken me a lot of headache to figure it all out. So I'm, I'm glad he, you know, We, we probably would have just got tired and started drinking more. <laughs> figure it out, though. I mean, we're halfway smart guy. I like the people recognize that I have a bigger pour. <laughs> See, if someone tells me not to drink something, then kind of have to drink it. Jeez, man, they are really pushing you. I did. I missed the edition three review. No, you no 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 no. You didn't miss it. This is tomorrow. This yep. Is, we are going to break open these tomorrow with a special guest um, to talk about them. So that's uh, you didn't miss anything. You didn't miss anything. This was just kind of a promotional video to talk about tomorrow night's. Uh, you missed us show. taking them out of the box. That's yeah. pretty much it. Yeah. Excited about and, it. And standing here trying to figure out how to make a mic work. <laughs> it worked. It, it's working now, son of a gun. <laughs> but oh well it takes four it you know what it it does take four yeah but tomorrow night we may just be out of luck although okay. who knows we'll see I, I maybe we'll get lucky we uh we didn't want to just invite anybody on the show when we're doing something like this so we've got uh, at least one person in mind that we'd like to invite 
probably should have had the foresight to ask a little bit earlier and think about it, but, you know, it slipped the mind. I, I had a moment of clarity earlier they, today, so. They happen from time to time. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I forgot Andrew was going to be back. I thought you and I were just doing this by ourselves, and I thought that was a horrible idea. What would your last <laughs> dram be before you croak? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Wow. Rob says McKellen M. All right, Rob. I don't know. I really don't know. I'd, I'd take another glass of that uh, 50 year old that we had. Yeah, that Glen Grant 50 was really yeah, good. I don't know. Maybe tasty. something from the Delmore Constellation series or something. I don't know. I really don't. How about a whole bottle of Port Ellen? That was pretty good. I mean. Why am I dying? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> What's the point? Let's talk about something a little less morbid, right? So would you rather have Alzheimer's or uh, Parkinson's? Hmm? There's a right answer to this question. <laughs> I've thought about it. Parkinson's, because I'd rather spill a little of my drink than forget where I put the whole bottle. <laughs> you're not going gonna... to forget night. that. You're just going to forget who the hell all these other people are. <laughs> who the hell are you? <laughs> Why are you drinking my scotch? Why are you scotch? drinking my scotch, right. Oh, boy. And Drew will be like, cut. but I paid for that. Wow. So, McKellen Classic Cut's a new favorite, huh? Huh. They've, they've actually come out with quite a few so, new expressions. The, um, the interesting thing, so when I talked to Amanda earlier tonight, we talked about tomorrow night's show and kind of, you know, what to expect. And she's watched some of our other live shows with guests to, to get a better uh, understanding of what to expect. But, um... You know, I told her, obviously, these are going to be front and center, but we also wanted to talk about some other things. We wanted to talk about, you know, a, a background on her, a background on the company she, you know, the importer, right. um, Edmonton, but also about McKellen in general. You know, yeah. what's going on with McKellen and, and where are they headed? And, you know, some of our, our patron questions are a little bit leading to show you kind of what, what folks are thinking about. So I'm anxious to see, you know, how she answers those questions. I don't want to put words in her mouth or try to answer them myself because I mean that's, Cause really that's tomorrow night yeah, show. That's, exactly, that's tomorrow night show. And there's some good questions though, and I'm sure you guys are going to come up with some. Um, don't be afraid to ask the hard ones. Uh, if she doesn't have an answer, you know we'll do our best to get them. Yep. Um, you know, on that note, I owe everybody, uh, we owe everybody, some answers to some questions from Jura. Um, and just tonight, uh, Sean and I were curious, if you guys go out to Jura's website, they have now announced their two new ranges. The, which, uh, which we knew what they were, but right. weren't we weren't allowed to talk about them. We weren't allowed to say the names of them because there was an exclusive... Uh, the New York Times scooped us. Scooped, right. Couldn't we find we almost got to announce... And uh, their their legal department was like, wait, the, this YouTube channel can't do that because uh, we Times already gave it to the Times. So That would have been awesome, though. That would have been cool to say. <laughs> but anyway, um, it's a, a Jura 7 wood and a Jura 18. 18. So, That's finished in Bordeaux casks. Yeah, that one ought to be interesting. 18 in uh, ex-bourbon American oak, obviously, and then and finished, finished in, in Premier Cru Bordeaux. Yeah. Which is... that. Sounds awesome. It'll be definitely worth a, a, a taste. Yeah. And we, you know, we do, uh, we are going to try to have Derek back on um, to talk about him now that the cat's out of the bag. Yep. So. Oh, we got some cool shows coming up. We do. Um, here in, in the very near future, in the next couple of weeks, we're going to have someone from Compass Box on. Yep. Uh, that'll be super cool. And then we're going to have Ben from uh, Ben. Uh, uh, boys that did the Jura thing, he's going to come back and, and talk about Dalmore, and then we're going to turn around and we're going to have Amanda back on for uh, Highland Park. Yep. So, And that's just to name a few. And that's just to name a few. I know that um, we definitely want to get Andy back on from Glen Murray because we, we want to share a Glen Murray with her that we we're, we scored on um, that I'm sure she's never had. Uh, so who knows what else has happened. I hope it's half as good as that Dallas do that we had. Yeah, I, I don't know. So we'll, we'll see. I'm very curious to hear what uh, what Tom's got to say about that. Hey, Scott from Test Dummies. How are you, my friend? What's going on? Oh, um, we're just hanging out drinking Drew's scotch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Drew's out of town. We figured we'd crank up the laptop and pour a glass. <laughs> what are you doing? You got sick days? Awesome. Let's do this. Heck yeah. My pancreatitis coming up. I don't know. My spleen hurts, boss. I can't Hell come to work. Hell yeah. Much. It's all ball bearings. Uh, it's all ball bearings. <laughs> um, everything's good. But, um, heck, I'm still working on the Blair Athol. You're moved on. Yeah. 
that that long row is not going to drink itself, man. Mm -hmm. Why you got to be that guy? I need to reach out to uh, any of our subscribers that are close or live in the Las Vegas area. I'm going to be out in Vegas next week. Really? Anybody want to cross paths and, you know, do a little I gambling? Know. I'll send 100 bucks to throw on Black 22. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to pair of shoes or something. Uh, you don't get the free drinks if you ain't gambling, right? <laughs> What do I get for penny slots? <laughs> you, you get one lady that walks by once a day. With a can of Schlitz. Yep. <laughs> yep. You're, you're great. You're not going to get a, a nice glass of scotch over there, I can tell you that. <laughs> Scott says that this is what he does to Bart. Bart's not around. Scott <laughs> cranks up the laptop and pours himself a glass of scotch. Well, it's not going to drink itself, yeah, is it, Scott? Cheap. Come on. That's I mean, the truth. we we're running out of space back there. We got to finish something off. Yeah, we do, and that, I mean, we got to get through these these three beauties now. I'm really excited to and see what these. Andrew keeps trying to pour stuff into the living bottle, and hey, now don't I'm on Andrew's side when it comes to that. So you know, this is what it looks like right now. This is our infinity bottle, whatever you want to call it, and I. Yeah, my I'm take not, is it, no. the, the more crap you put in it, the crappier it gets. You got to well, right, put some decent stuff whole, in it. You got a whole jar full of 12 and under. Because you, you won't let us put anything well, other than it. You can't go pouring stuff from silent stills. Forget that long row. You need a shot of this next. That's the ticket. Is it? <laughs> He's trying to make a convert of me. <laughs> need him to support the effort. Well, it's not that I don't mind pouring stuff in that bottle, but if it's a really good scotch, I just kind of want to drink it. Hey, he says, if any of the whiskey tubers come through Kansas City, please hit me up. Travis, I am almost positive I will be in Kansas City in the next two months. Can't tell you when, because I don't know that, but I'm I'm willing to, to make a pretty good wager that will be within the next eight weeks. So There you go. Um, when that happens... Yes, we are going to get together and have a glass of scotch. You know what I'd like to do is get everybody together and hit the whiskey trail. So we got a couple of things that would be I mean, fun. Man, we're, this is going to end up being an hour show. Your wife's going to kill us. Um, so yes, we she owe went two to bed things. When we came down here. We <laughs> owe two things. Um, the test dummies tapped us to hold the round table next time. So we got to get right on, on that, and we've got to figure out when is a good date for all the uh, the whiskey tubers to to do a, a, a round table, and we got to. Obviously, pick up the phone, talk to Scott, and see how he did it, because it was pretty smooth. Um, obviously, we'll change we, it. We went through a few less questions than he was hoping <laughs> right. to, but we're uh, not going to ask so many questions because obviously we went through, it, it was good. It but, was fun. So we've got that. Um, we've got that to do, and then you know we we still want to talk about where, when, where, and and how are we all going to hook up at some kind of conference somewhere? You know, we need to make that happen. So give that some thought, Eric. Uh, Andrew is on a plane somewhere. Um, Live quickie. <laughs> hey, Kato. I haven't seen you in a while. So, yeah, Andrew's not home yet. He'll be he'll be around tomorrow. And um, he texted us and asked us if we were looking for anything in the travel retail. But I don't know if that's how it works. I always thought travel retail was only in the duty-free. Uh, I don't Maybe know. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't, I don't know. know. Um, but he'll be here tomorrow. So it's just going to be the three of us. Unless Drew is really nervous. They sell all kinds of stuff in, in uh, California if you've got a prescription for it, I guess. <laughs> that's <what> I <laughs> <laughs> just set a date. You'll get some of the regulars, but you may have to add a couple of newbies. Which isn't a bad thing. You're right, Scott. I think I think that's the right thing to do. Just draw a line in the sand, put your foot down, and say this is when we're going to do it. And if we get a, a a new new show or two, that's that's nothing wrong with that. They need some help. You know, it's not easy starting. That's for sure. That's what I'm saying. So, Oh wait a minute! Eric says he's holding Andrew hostage. So did you? Uh, did you guys have a good time out there on the West Coast, Eric? I have no idea. What, Andrew didn't tell us what was going on, so I'm. He sent us the picture of the uh, of that one bottle. Right, I haven't. And that was it. I don't even know. Did Eric? Did you guys do a live show? Now you've got me wondering. I want to go on YouTube and do a search for you and see. I. I if it, Eric, if you guys did a live show, put the link to it uh, in the chat so that we can all go check it out. <laughs> Give me some subscribers. <laughs> Give you some views anyway. Nothing wrong with that. Random question. Is Highland Park Vikings honor the same as original Highland Park 12? Negative. No. It is not. And it's, we got a bottle right up yeah, there. It's, it's on our list to review, actually. Um, I don't know exactly what's different, to be honest with you. Because we haven't made it that far yet. But I know it's not. Um, we tapped a little bit, and 
you know, cool bottle. I don't know. I, I don't think we were overly over the moon on this one. It happens. Um, shit, it's a $60 bottle, though. $55.99 plus tax. We'll get to that one. What did it say? Yeah, review. Okay, so Andrew and, and, and Eric reviewed the Douglas Lang single cast Kylan Park 20. That's the picture he sent. Now yeah. I remember seeing and it. He doesn't yeah. do live. Yeah. To buy they actually did a review. There's a local low-key scotch bar where we could do a live stream and have a ball. <laughs> have a ball, have a couple of them. <laughs> We're going to have a couple of good scotches. We don't do one. That would be a good time, uh, man. I see. Okay. Whiskey in the Sixes needs to come down here to the States. That's right. I think we should just do a whiskey contest. <laughs> Travis said that the HP 12 original is about 15% better. How did you come <laughs> up with that number, Travis? Can you tell us the math behind that one? That seems uh, <laughs> extremely specific. He's like, I carried a one. <laughs> But I'm not going to argue with you because I'm kind of, now that you've put a number to it, I'm not going to argue with you. No, it, 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 it's I, not I wouldn't the same. say it was bad. It just wasn't quite the same no, as the, the regular 12. It's not. So there you go. We'll get to it in our review, though. One of these days, I want to get into the 21. I know that's a little bit high, um, but I really love that HP 18. Um, yeah. And that one's about 150 bucks around here, so... I we can't do a video like that every day, though. No, I don't know where the 21 is. <laughs> I think everybody on here has seen that one. Heading to well, Indiana tomorrow. Heading to Indian tomorrow from Columbus, Ohio. There we go, Indiana. I need to read the next comment. Well, all right, all right, all right. Where so, in Indiana are you going? So are you trying to be our fourth? Is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah. We gotta <laughs> Somebody's got to be over here. Hmm. I think with three bottles, we'd be able to accompany him. That is a mouthfeel. <laughs> yeah. I, I can get behind that. I don't know. It just didn't, it didn't really do it for me like the regular 12 did. No. It was okay. I think I've got uh, a 15 coming here in the next couple of weeks, and I don't know if we've reviewed the 15. I don't mm -hmm. think we have, so add another one nope. to the list. Because um, we don't have enough scotch to review, right? So Eric said the Douglas Lang single cast Kyle Park 20 was 37.82 percent. Zionsville, hell, you're going to be like 15 minutes from our place. I know. What the heck? You might as well just make it happen. Come on, <laughs> we got a well in the basement and. Little we'll, poodle and everything. We'll take good care of you. <laughs> Little poodle. Oh, that's horrible. So, I am so Malta's on. Oh, yeah. We'd go to Santa Cruz, he'll open the HP 30. All right, how do I get there? That doesn't sound bad. Usually a plane. I'm not walking. No. <laughs> That's you awesome. guys are really funny. Is it pronounced Blair F. Hole? <laughs> I guess if you say it slow enough in Kansas. <laughs> That's horrible. I don't know. I'm going to have a glass of this before I call See it. Yeah, you just run through it and, and yeah. fake it. That's... I don't know. Maybe we need to ask Roy. He's the one that corrects me all the time because I can't get any of them right. Somebody's got to do it. I know. I can't get nothing. You're a slow drinker tonight. Yeah, with that? long week, man. And I started this new workout regime, so I'm just hurting, man. I'm a, I'm a Sally. I'm in bad shape. Well, you just have some whiskey. It'll make you feel better. <laughs> You're right. It sure will. It won't make tomorrow feel better, but that, that never stopped me. Oh, well, tomorrow you'll get some hair of the dog, and we'll be right back in business, man. It'll be all good. Yeah. I got a samurai so, movie for us afterwards. It's going to be all right. We're watching samurai movies after the live show tomorrow night. See, that's another reason why you need to come by and be part of the show. Sean's always got a good movie queued up. Try. It's, it's good times. Well, maybe not always a good movie, but last week we watched Kick-Ass because uh, Mark had never seen it. Kick-Ass. Whatever, <laughs> man. <laughs> Sean comes up with some wild movies. So where's where's uh, Cato gonna be? There's a oh he's gonna be in Santa Cruz. I don't know. 
Uh, all right, all right. Wow. Dog oh, poops. you guys see the Molly cam? Anyway, I don't know what I'm with this. All right. Anything else we need to say about the McKellen? I'm going to get these guys out of the way. Um, I guess we'll see everybody tomorrow night. I hope we'll see everybody tomorrow night. I, I'm really kind of hoping to have a really good showing. Showing Amanda, this is her first time on a YouTube show, and uh, and she's really excited about it. And we're excited to have her on as a guest, so hopefully it's a good yeah. experience. And, and I'm excited yeah. to try all this stuff. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be a lot uh, of fun. Scott, we do owe you guys a date for the uh, round table. Haven't forgot it. I've uh, been thinking a little bit more about it myself personally, so we'll we'll put our foot down and make something happen on that here in the near future. Um, oh, wow. I wonder, I'm, I'm so, because the word ass was used, it held Swami's comment. So kick ass is great, kick ass too is not so much. So I'm fine with showing kick ass, I mean. That's hilarious. Yeah, that's I've never seen that happen before. That's weird. Um, I think I made it through half a kick ass too. <laughs> so I honestly think that the Blair Athol was worth it. I, I liked yeah. it. I, I think it's a good drama, and I see why. Um, I see why Roy keeps it on his bar at home. I mean, yeah. it's obviously especially great, for the price he can get it over right. there. The price definitely point worth the money. And, and readily available. It's definitely a, a worth it for to have at home. Um, I think after shipping from Scotland, it cost us like 60 bucks or so, maybe 65-ish. Eh, maybe not quite. It's, it's actually, it might even be close to, to worth that. It's, it's a pretty good bottle. I'm glad we have it. I'm glad we tried it. Um, I'm glad to have been exposed to it. I don't I mean, know. Really, for a 12-year-old scotch, it's, that seems fairly reasonable. Sure, but I don't know if I'm going to buy another bottle just because of the effort that it takes to get it, you know. Yeah. Uh, and especially considering... But if you were buying some other stuff and having it shipped... Yeah. Maybe throw another bottle Which, on there. Which, you know, I, I keep saying that I want to do a video about this, and I've got the, the homework done. I've done all the effort. I just need to do a, shoot a video about it. But my experience with online shopping, and I did a lot of research on it and spent a lot of time looking at various online sites, and I wanted to put a video together to share that with you guys because there's there's a lot of things you need to look at when you're ordering online um, to make it worth it. And it, things are just all over the board. I mean, I actually had to laugh at one price. I was looking for the... Um, the Log of Woman 12, and for the most part, price points were you know consistent, 125 bucks or whatever, 150 bucks, whatever it was. I don't remember. I'd have to look at it. But one website had it for sale for 549 dollars. <laughs> I'm like, the hell are Not you that thinking? One. Right, what, what makes you think you're gonna get 549 for that one on these 12 other sites? I can get it for buck fifty. Yeah. I don't know. So you never know, man. Some of those things you gotta look. Throw at. it out there. Yes. Right? I, I don't know. Um, but anyway. Aside from that, uh, you guys got anything? I've, we've got, it's about all we need to, to yeah, cover. Yeah, we just wanted to uh, give everybody a heads up for tomorrow night's show and uh, yeah. show off the, the McCallans that we're going to be doing. So we're, we're really excited about that one and talk about the, uh, the Blair Athol and yeah. our, our opinions on that, which it was good. It was a good glass. I'm, I'm really glad you got it. I, I wouldn't have never. I, I honestly had never heard of it until I, until Roy spoke up, and I, it caught my eye when he said that it was one that he always has on his bar. I'm like, well, if it's good yeah, enough well, for his bar, we've we've got several that are like uh, blending scotches or from silent stills that you know you, you have right. a hard time finding anymore. And to me, those are fun just because they're unique. Well, and they also kind of show you why that blender uses it, right? Yeah. So what's that blender trying to put into their blend uh, by using? I'll that tell you scotch? what, that Dallas do is really good. That's a pretty good bottle. It's definitely different. Um, fun to have. That's a good story. Yeah. It's always fun to have a story behind a bottle, too. So we'll get into that Glen Murray, uh just just as quick. Man, we got a lot of scotch to get into. Yeah, we do. Which is a good problem yeah, to have. Yeah, there's, there's good things on the horizon. We may even start throwing out a couple videos a week. Uh-oh, I have a question for Scotch for Dummies. Dun-dun-dun. All right. All right, Rob. We're getting ready to shut her down, but we'll, we'll hang on for your question. And go. Oh, that was quick. Nothing. No. Hey, what's going on with Whiskey Dick? Surprised these guys went live while I was live. Did we? Did we? I don't know. I don't know if we did or not. We're, did we really? We're lucky we were live at all. Yeah, honest, hang we're... on a second. Now, nah, man. Is, this shirt, is, Sean, is Sean taking his shirt off on the live tomorrow? Um, no. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> you guys don't have enough super chat available for all that. Come on the fishing trip, though. We'll see what's up. Absolutely. With you. On the fishing trip, anything is possible. Rob, if you want to come down and go on a fishing trip with us, we would be, uh, we might even meet him. We'll go to Erie or something. He that, could that'd be that. a much closer trip for you. You come down, we'll catch some walleye and some perch, and we'll have some good scotch. It'd be all right. Yeah, well. The dog's mad at me because I stopped giving her pretzels. Uh, hang on a second. I I don't understand, Bill. Anyway, I'm I'm trying to look. I didn't even realize you was. I, it doesn't even say that. See, I never even got a notification. Now, anyway, if we if you were live, we didn't mean to do that to you. Um. I'm trying to just do a quickie to do a shout out for a show tomorrow, and we we're struggling to get that done. So, mainly anyway. just test her out. Oh man, so Scott's confirming we did. All right, Bill, I owe you an apology for that one, man. I didn't bother to look. So, anyway, uh, <laughs> gotta watch the show. Anyway, um, guys, thanks for logging on tonight. Uh, Bill, sorry, I didn't mean to step on your toes. Um, just trying to do a little promotion for tomorrow's video. Didn't realize you were on. And uh, my glass is empty. Well, that's your problem. We're gonna I'm, I'm gonna down. wait till we turn off the camera. Yeah. You know what so I'm saying? I don't know what you're drinking, but we'll see everybody <laughs> tomorrow night, ten o'clock. Um, Amanda Tucker from Edrington Group uh, to talk about McKellen. We'll go through them all and we'll have a good time doing it. Hopefully, you guys show up and help. Bring us your questions. Through. Yeah, show up and and help us uh, have a good experience. So It'd be awesome. Until tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Cheerio. Night, guys. I don't even know how to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get out of there. Now I got it. I think.